I spent $1,500 to convert my car into a camper, which is basically a house on wheels. And today we're sleeping next to the Hudson River with a view of New York City. The houses next to me are about $1.5 million and their monthly rent is around $2,500. But that parking spot is free. And tonight she's gonna be my home. We're inside, let's convert this car into full camper mode. I'm adjusting the seat. And I have my window covers right there. Let me actually just turn on the lights because it's going to be way too dark. All the windows are covered. Um, you might see some cracks all the way up there. See that crack over there? Same on the other side. But let's see how the car looks like from the outside. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. The Reflectix is not showing pure silver. Now, honest question guys, looking at this car as it is right now, without watching my channel, would you have guessed that someone's in there living? I usually shave at the gym when I shower, but I want to shave in here just to demonstrate to you guys that it is possible. I got my razor and I have a hand soap. That's about it. Sometimes I even shave with gel, hair gel, because it's good because you can see the hair through the gel. I'm going to get a paper towel ready. I don't have a mirror. Just gonna use my phone like this. Ooh. That water is cold. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, did I miss a spot? You guys tell me. My skin is very sensitive to razors, but I do like the feeling of my face being fully shaved. I get some bumps on my skin, especially the neck. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe you guys can tell me, leave a comment. Mm. Okay. Feels good that I'm clean. Put this away. If you notice the solar panels on my car, you already know that. This is powering the vehicle's electronics. I'm looking on my phone right now and I'm getting about 150 watts. This is really good because the maximum wattage I can get is 200 and I have my fridge plugged in. It's a small six pack fridge that a lot of people recommended. Okay guys, I'm kind of hungry, so let's make some food. Today we're making uh, chicken with rice. I actually stopped by the uh, grocery store and I got some chicken. I'm gonna get my propane stove. It's actually behind this cabinet. So I have to open my door. Oh, okay, it's pretty busy outside. <laughs> I felt weird opening my door. Let's get the stuff that we need to cook with. My fridge is actually in the back, in the trunk, but I'm gonna access it from here. Let's see, I got my chicken. $2.62. I got a piece of butter and I got leftover, leftover time. Let's get everything ready that we need to cook with. I got fresh pepper, we can ground this. We need a knife and a cutting board. Oh, I also got some gloves. It's not a lot of space. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my bed to put some stuff on it. So I'm gonna prepare this. This cabinet only has two drawers and it's pretty limited. And I try to utilize every space in this place. Underneath my bed, I actually have storage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that storage. Chicken flavor fried rice. Yeah, that's all we want. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's a whole project in here. I don't wanna blow my cover that I'm in the car. And I do need to ventilate because it feels a little bit stuffed right now. I'm not gonna roll my windows. I'm gonna actually just turn on the car AC. I 
don't know if you noticed, I have this uh, backup camera. This camera is always on and I do like that. Okay, let me focus. I do have a carbon monoxide detector, so don't worry about it. The recipe said to add a cup and a half of water. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter into that water. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the stove. Oh, that smells good. Whew. I never used these. Have you guys tried them? That's pretty cool. This was only a dollar and 25 cents, I think. I'm just uh, waiting for the water to boil. I'm looking at my rear view camera and I can see some people jogging back and forth. And you know what? Maybe we will go outside for a walk as well. That's a lot better lighting, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Now you get to see the people walking by. This window tint is about 15%, so it's not completely like a limo tent. We'll see if people can notice me. Take me back into the light. Take me back into the light. Hold me the feel, you know. Let's check on the rice. Okay, it's cooked. We're gonna drain the excess water. This is my first time making rice, by the way. What do you guys think? That's the rice. Okay, next, let's get our chicken. I'm actually gonna prepare the, the pan for the chicken. We're gonna put some butter. I'll put this on the side. Okay. This looks like a really thick piece. I think I'm gonna slice her down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's way too thick. I think I'm gonna cut the chicken sideways. Let's see. Okay, now we got two pieces that are much thinner and I think we'll save this for later. Fresh ground pepper. We're gonna flip the pieces and do the same thing to the other side. I think I'm just gonna wash the knife real quick. chicken meanwhile I'm gonna charge my GoPro battery I have a charging station right here I can control these buttons and charge my stuff they have no clue guys <laughs> they have no idea <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. All right, guys, <laughs> the windows are down. Let's see if we can get a reaction. Oh, that chicken looks really good. Okay, I think our food is ready. Let's go ahead and set up our plate, guys. That's our food for the day. The rice needs some salt, a little pepper too. Let's check out this chicken, guys. Oh yeah, look at the white. First bite of chicken. Look at the golden color. It's actually crusty a little bit on the outside. I didn't mean it to be like that, but it came out good because 
it adds that texture when you bite into it and the inside is so tender I can just push it like that the rice is a good add-on the rice wasn't flavorful that much maybe I should have made my own rice I just remember that I bought a laptop stand let me see if I can use it to eat oh oh there we go okay there we go so now I can actually kind of sit like this Mmm. Look at that piece of chicken. Oh my god. It's like a big chicken nugget. Woo! Just gonna wipe this a little bit. I'm gonna throw it in my trash right here. I'm gonna leave the propane out because I really want to make some coffee. Dude, I don't think anyone cares what I'm doing. It feels like New York City where nobody really cares what you're doing. No one's looking at you. And that's crazy. I can see New York City from here, guys, from my car. Check it out. Whip out my phone. That's so pretty. Beautiful. All right, we can uh, roll the windows up. For now, let me just sip my drink, um, just digest this food, and then we can do something else. I do have to urinate, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the window. And shake twice for Texas. <laughs> That's a Big Bang Theory reference. I do also have a hand sanitizer sometimes I use but I generally prefer to just wash my hands. Sometimes it has like essential oils, so it makes your hand a little bit sticky. Hey Google, is it good to take a walk right after eating a meal? According to Medical News Today, research suggests that a short walk after eating helps manage a person's blood glucose or blood sugar levels. Okay, we could just play it safe and wait a little bit. According to the New York Times, okay, although okay, light Google. walking at any okay, time is good for your I, okay, health, Google. a short walk with Yes, I get it. Thank you. No worries. I'm here to help. <laughs> uh, Google is my friend, guys. Speaking of friends, is it normal to be 29 years old, single, and have no friends in real life? I only have one best friend that I see once a year, and he lives on the other side of the country but I don't have like friends in my daily life, you know? Is that normal? Do you guys think that's normal or is it not normal? I can understand that if you're married or in a relationship and have no friends, that could be normal, but I don't know. Or maybe this is, maybe this is more common than I think. Let me know what you guys think because I kind of want to make a video on it. Now, with the bathroom situation, I can easily go urinate anytime I want, but when it comes to uh, like pooping, number twos, I would have to find a place, a public facility. So like right now, I am five minutes away from a grocery store that has a bathroom. There's also a gas station that's um, three minutes walking. That way, there's a Planet Fitness within 10 minutes of driving. So there's options to use public restrooms, it's just, you gotta go there. And if I'm camping in the wilderness or something, I'll just dig a hole. Right now, the temperature outside is 50 degrees and um, it's chilly, obviously. I do have my AC on, but that's because, you know, I'm cooking and I'm about to make coffee, so I'll leave it on. And tonight, it's gonna get to as low as 35 degrees. So we'll see how that goes. Let's make coffee.
I like my coffee extra cream, extra sugar. How do you guys like your coffee? Let me know. Put my cup right here. It is so nice having water system in my car. That is a game changer. Without water, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. You can't do dishes, you can't cook. I love it. Let me up the uh, AC because it's gonna get nice and hot in here. Uh, people pointed out that my headliner is gonna go away. I don't know. I do have a fire extinguisher, by the way. I added some stuff, so I do have a fire extinguisher. If anything happens, you know. That coffee is brewing. I read online that coffee filters are actually bad because they uh, block away the oils that are in the uh, grounds, basically degrading the flavor. I'm trying to think of other ways to make coffee, but this seems to be the cleanest way. And I hate getting something like a French press because it would be hard to clean, you know. My coffee filter is malfunctioning, guys. <laughs> As it is, and dump it right here. It's, it's good, I'm not gonna lie, it's good, it's not great. And I just lost my Starbucks sponsorship. <laughs> Is that your car? No. No? Not no, your car? No, 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 no. It looks nice, yeah? Let's reply to your comments on YouTube. <laughs> Matthew says, you should fish out your window and cook it and get it in. That's actually, <laughs> that would be content. The apartments that you see behind me go for around 3 million. Look at that view, guys, through my window. That's so cool. This is as good as it gets in this car.